It's time to get excited. We have an unboxing and you know what that means. It's giveaway time. Yeah, inside this box, we have the brand new Met Manta Mips Aero Road Helmet. So new that it's only just been released today. Well, I'm going to be revealing all the details around this exciting new helmet, as well as sharing what you need to do in order to be in with a chance of winning your very own. You guys might have noticed that in our more recent cycling videos, Mark and I have been sporting some new lids. Yep, Met are our helmet channel partner, and it's rather good timing as they have now just added this brand new model to their collection. And I'm delighted to say that they are extending their generosity beyond us, the GTN presenters, and they are offering five helmets to give away to you guys, the lucky GTN viewers. Now, I'm going to be explaining exactly what you need to do in order to get your hands on one of these new Met Manta Mips helmets at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned. But for now, I think it's time to take a closer look at the helmet itself. <laughs> You might be familiar with Met's previous model, the Met Manta. Well, add in MIPS as well as a few other tweaks and then you end up with this, the Met Manta MIPS. And if I get through this video without my tongue getting tied, I will be impressed. Well, you've probably guessed it, Met's previous most aero helmet, the Manta, has just had a serious safety upgrade by adding in the MIPS C2 brain protection system as well as some other geometrical changes. You can see this little yellow MIP sign on the back left hand side of the helmet and we're noticing these on more and more helmets now and it's basically an additional safety layer. It's said to add an extra 10% on top of the standard when it comes to protecting your head from impact in certain directions. And when you take a look inside the helmet, you can see this additional yellow layer and this is the MIP system itself. This system allows an extra 10 to 15 millimeters of movement in either direction to take the force out of the impact. Basically, the shell of the helmet will move relative to the head, so it's dampening that potential harmful rotational energy on the skull and therefore the brain. And as you can probably see, it sits discreetly between the comfort padding and the shell of the helmet itself, so you probably won't even notice it's there. Well, with helmets, it's obviously safety first, so it's now time to move on to some of the other important factors. This new Met Manta Mips helmet ticks four very important boxes. Safety, as we've covered, aerodynamics, fit and style. And at first glance, it looks rather similar to its predecessor. And that's because obviously it is based off that. And they've kept some of the key components, such as the internal NACA vent that is designed to help with ventilation, but also reduce the amount of drag. And it works by obviously taking the air into the helmet through the front vents. And the shape of the channel or the channel inside the helmet is designed so that the airflow doesn't change in speed and therefore doesn't increase any drag. And then it comes out through the back fence and where the area that Met actually call the exhaust, which is a terminology I quite like. Whilst we're talking about the exhaust of the helmet, I think we should have a closer look at the rear. And this is where it differs from its predecessor as it's more of a lower profile and tube shaped. And this is a result of some specific testing at the Newton Laboratory in Milan. And this helmet actually has 15 vents in total, two of which double up. So if we spin it around, here at the front, these inlets are designed to allow air to flow through, but they have a second purpose. They're also there so you can store your sunglasses. And don't worry, comfort and practicality have not been overlooked at the expense of safety, looks and aerodynamics. It's time to take a look inside the helmet and you'll see that there's this 360 degree headband that basically wraps all the way around your head to ensure a snug and even pressure fit whatever shape of head you have. And this has been inspired by the Met Trenta 3K Carbon. And you can see here, it can be adjusted nicely with this cam driver at the back. And then these comfort pads here, if you're worried that they might get a little bit sweaty with lots of use, well, you don't need to because they are simply just attached by Velcro so they can be taken out and washed very easily. And then you've got a rather clever chin fastening. And the clue here is in the name or potentially the opposite of the name. It's called the Fidlock Magnetic Buckle and it takes the fiddle out of locking. 
Yeah, that was my tagline. Sorry for that one. But on a serious note, you can see here how easily the ends just basically are attracted to each other. And they simply just lock themselves. And this is a bit of a nod to the target audience of this helmet. They say it's designed for road cyclists, but also for winter riding. And wait for it. It's even designed for triathletes. Yes, they've taken into account the triathlon transition. And as a result, I would say that this helmet for me ticks all of the boxes and I'm pretty sure it does for you guys too. And now for the last few details. This medium sized helmet comes in at a weight of 250 grams and the Met Manta Mips has an array of wonderful colors. In actual fact, it comes in six different colorways, including this rather stealthy looking version here, the black matte glossy. And then we have the black red metallic stroke matte glossy. We have the blue metallic stroke matte glossy, the gray fluo yellow stroke matte glossy, the red metallic glossy, and finally there's the white holographic glossy, which as you've probably guessed is my favorite and I'm afraid I'm not sharing that one with you guys, but I expect I've whet your appetite for these rather fast and beautiful looking helmets by now and I expect you're dying to know what you need to do because yes, Met are offering up a total of five of these helmets to give away. And all you need to do is follow the link in the description below and follow the instructions there. So good luck to you guys on that one. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Do check out all of our social media channels at GTN. And remember, you can also make sure you never miss a GTN video by subscribing to us here on YouTube.